Well, let's see if it's time to get the boat out yet. It's April 16th. Uh-oh. Snow. We just had freezing rain. Now it's pouring rain, so I guess we won't be getting the boat out yet. That's a little better. Now it's spring. Time to get the boat out. So I've got the tarp off the boat for the, from the winter and uh, I'm going to have to do a bit of repair work um, on the edges of the canopy where I banged into the walls of the canal last year learning to drive. Uh, so I'll have to fix that up. Uh, the other thing is I'm I've got a, a 200 watt solar panel on order that I'll be putting onto the front area here. The other panels are 220 watts, um, but all panels, including the new one, have the same current rating of just over 12 amps. And to connect them all in series, that's what you need. You need to have the uh, current rating the same. Voltage doesn't matter if you're in series. If they were in parallel, then it'd be the opposite. You would need to have the voltage rating the same, but the current could be different. But uh, Anyways, I'll need to uh, shift these three panels back uh, just to get another couple of inches of room in that because I am pressed for space on the front. The other problem I have, you can see that the canopy is collapsed for uh, uh, for storage purposes, but also this is how I transport it if I'm going any distance in that. If I'm just going down to the marina, which is just around the block, then I'll have the canopy up and it, uh, it's not a problem. But um, I would like to be able to collapse this canopy uh, very easily at any time and put it up at any time. And uh, so I'm going to work on modifications to do that. I'm going to change the uh, uh, uprights um, so they'll be hinged and uh, assisted with um, gas uh, gas lifts and uh, that will help me put it up anyways hopefully that will work anyways that's uh, my intention and uh, that's what I'm going to work towards um, I have the seats out of the boat I don't know if you can see in there all the seats are out of the boat. I refinished a couple of them over the winter. I had broken one of the seats and so I had to disassemble it and uh, repair it, varnish it, reweave it. And same with the uh, in the back area here where the mother-in-law seat goes. Um, there was a lot of weather checking that was starting and so I decided to refinish that as well as well as the, uh, the seat back. Uh, the rudder, you can see, is off, and uh, even though there was no issue with the rudder, um, I wanted to add reinforcement to the side of it, uh, so I added fiberglass uh, to the sides of the rudder, just to, just in case. If it ever snapped on me, uh, I would be in trouble, so just beefed it up a little bit. Anyways, um, I've got my work cut out for me. So I finished repairing all the uh, edges of the canopy. I've refiberglassed it and uh, all I have to do now is fine sand it and uh, then varnish uh, not just the edges but the entire canopy again. Give it a good coat of varnish. So it's looking pretty good. And uh, then to protect it in the future I'll add on a little bumper strip. So I finished building the uh, components for the new uh, support posts for the back of the, um, the boat uh, for the back section of the uh, canopy and uh, 
what we have here is uh, this will be a base unit that will hold the post and um, the hinge will go right in there and um, what I have to do now is uh, sand these down because it's been coated with epoxy resin I like to do that and then I'll uh, varnish them after and it gives it a really nice protective finish so there is a completed prototype post um, I'm going to try uh, setting it up in the boat just to see how it works and then I'll uh, take it apart again and uh, refinish it so here it is in the down position and uh, as I lift there we go I might have to add another uh, uh, gas shock to the top part not sure I'll uh, play with it I've got the batteries all hooked up. The uh, small wire right here is going to the halfway point on the battery. This is a 24 volt battery bank. And uh, I'm tapping in at the halfway point for 12 volts, which I use for some auxiliary uh, purposes. So this is my steering wheel mechanism. It's uh, homemade, as you can see, and uh, basically the the wheel itself was just a, a decorative piece that I would bought online, and it was meant for hanging on the wall. And I decided I'd just use it and refinished it, put a dowel through it, epoxied it in place, and on the back side I have built a, a large wooden diameter spool, just sort of slabs of wood and uh, epoxying it all together. Uh, the rope um, is rolled around in one direction for uh, pulling it to one side and then uh, it'll go in the other direction for the other side. So I'm just going to mount this on and see how it works. Usually it takes some playing around and, uh, and adjusting to get it just right. And uh, because of this old mechanical mechanism uh, that's why it squeaks like heck but uh, that's okay all right so I finished uh, getting the uh, steering wheel all installed and uh, playing with the tension and I finally have got it where I want it so it the action's pretty smooth in that but uh, it does squeak a lot but, uh, that's okay, it makes it sound like an old ship. Anyways, I could uh, put the top back on there and uh, that'll be done. So the other thing that I've added to the steering uh, is a couple of springs to take up tension uh, when the rudder assembly has gone to one extreme or the other um, before it, uh, it, it used to slacken off if you go to the extremes, right or left. And uh, the springs work good. They keep uh, the ropes under tension all the time.
my new 200 watt solar panel and I've mounted that to the canopy. Everything looks good. The only issue is the manufacturer screwed up. Um, the specifications uh, was uh, 200 watt, 12 amps, so it would be compatible with my other solar panels. Instead, what they sent me was uh, 200 watts, 6 amps, but double the voltage, 36 volts. Totally incompatible with uh, connecting in series or parallel with my other panels. To make up for it, the uh, manufacturer uh, realized that, yes, they made a mistake. And um, because I bought this directly from China, you just can't send it back to China. It's too expensive. So they they decided they would uh, compensate me by sending me an, another solar controller, a 20 amp solar controller. Uh, so this panel is on its own controller and of course these three panels are on the main controller and actually it's a better configuration because now I do have partial redundancy with the solar controllers. If uh, one died if the main one died, uh, the, uh, the small one, of course, it would only be um, pulling in a small amount of power, 200 watts, uh, but at least it would still work. It would trickle charge uh, the batteries.